Hello and welcome to this uh, C Sharp tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you console color and uh, the console background color and the console foreground color. Um, so go ahead and create a new project as uh, console application. I'm going to call mine, uh, I'm just going to leave it as default console application 2. Um, background color is the background of the console and the foreground is the text color of the console. Uh, in default, Windows is usually black, uh, black background and white text. Um, but we're going to change that temporarily for this program. Uh, the changes that we make in this program for the colors aren't permanent. If you want to make them permanent, you can edit your uh, CMD settings and preferences. Uh, I could make another video on that later on. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be talking uh, primarily about changing the console colors in your current program. So to access the console colors, uh, we type in console dot background color. Uh, we can make the background color equal a console color uh, dot and we get a list of colors that we can pick from. Uh, so default is blue, uh, uh, black, sorry, um, but I'm going to change it to blue. Uh, don't forget the semicolon at the end. Uh, and we're also, while we're here, going to change the foreground color. Uh, remembering the foreground color is the font text. Uh, so again, it's the same. Console color equals uh, one of these. I'm going to make it green. A blue background with green text. Um, next, to apply these changes uh, and make it go across the whole screen, um, if we do console.clear, this will make the whole background go blue. Um, whereas if you didn't put console.clear, only the text that you write to the screen from then on would have the background of blue. Uh, I can show you that at the end of the program. Uh, I've run it once with clear and once without clear, and uh, you can see the difference. Um, so that will change the console background to blue and the color to green. And then to prove the color is green, we're going to do a console.write line and state this is green. So if I run that, uh, in Visual Studios, it's Control F5 uh, to quick run, and you can see the console background is blue and the text color is green. Uh, you can see the whole background is blue in this picture. Uh, but if I commented out this line, uh, save it and run it again, and da, 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 da. yes, yeah, no. Um, um, um. Cannot open the project. Why can't you open the project? Can that open? That can open. Uh, but this can't. Oh, it can. Um, but yes, as you can see here, the colour, uh, the, the default is still black at the background, but anything that was written to the screen has now got the background of blue. Um, this isn't really what, I haven't seen this in use much, uh, so just remember to put the console-clear after you've done any colour changes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you change the console background and console foreground colours. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and hope it was useful. Uh, I'll see you all in the next tutorial.